ketones can be produced by mixing carboxylic acids with organolithium reagents and this is what we're going to discuss in this lecture. So basically in the first series of steps when we take the carboxylic acid and mix it with two molecules of our organolithium reagent eventually we produce a molecule known as a dianion and in the second series of steps if we take our dianion and we mix it with water then we eventually produce the final product our ketone so let's take a look at the reaction mechanism of this reaction so in the first step we take our molecule the carboxylic acid and we mix it with one of these two organolithium reagents so this is our organolithium reagent in which which the R is attached to our lithium atom. Now because lithium is so much less electronegative than the carbon of the R group, we see that on one of the resin stabilized forms we have a full negative charge on our R and a full positive charge on the lithium. And so this molecule can act as a Lewis base deprotonating this oxygen taken off the H atom and forming this resin stabilized carboxyl isolate uh, ion that basically contains a delocalization of charge between these two oxygens. Now in the second step we take the second organolithium reagent and we mix it with this carboxylate ion and this is a strong enough nucleophile to basically attack the carbon displacing the pi bond and forming a dianion. Now this dianion contains two full charges on these two oxygens and in the presence of these two lithium ions that were formed in step one in step two this will be stabilized so these two lithium ions that each contain a full positive charge will basically come into close proximity with these two oxygens and that will basically create electrostatic forces that will stabilize this dianion as a whole now in the presence of a base no further reaction can actually take place with our dianion molecule but if we add water we basically also add a tiny bit of hydronium ion and so now because we have an acid our reaction can basically take place between the hydronium and our dianion so here we have the dianion in step three and step four we basically have the hydronium ion that protonates each one of these two oxygens and eventually we produce this hydrate molecule now hydrate can then go on to convert the, to the ketone because hydrate is less stable than our ketone product so when our water molecule basically approaches one of these hydroxyl groups it will protonate this hydroxide group and in the next step the second hydroxide group will basically create a pi bond between the oxygen and the carbon displacing this good leaving group that was formed in step five so in step six the good leaving group is displaced we form water as well as our double bond between the oxygen and the carbon and in the final step step seven we have the hydroxide that was produced in step five deprotonates this oxygen forming the final product our ketone so basically this is the ketone we reform water in step number seven and this reaction is a reaction in which we were able to take a carboxylic acid and basically produce a ketone so we have to use two molecules or two moles of organolithium reagent per one mole or one molecule of carboxylic acid and in the second series of steps we have to mix in water for our dianion to actually undergo a reaction because our dianion will not undergo any reaction in the presence of a base because there is no good leaving group found on this molecule.